lift up the stone And I put it in place It was meant to go there All shapes and sizes flash Before my eyes And here is the wall The wall that I built Steadily growing a structure That will stand the test of time I find walls beautiful. I like that they are the different characters of the different areas and some different stone can have different character. There's as many types of wall and characters of wall as there is stone. They should last a couple of hundred years if they're correct. This is a, probably about that 150 year old. So the fact a few bits have fallen down isn't too terrible. I build a Having worked in an office far too much, getting paid far too little for far too much stress, threw it all in. And then the training bursary came up with the Dry Stone Walling Association and I got picked for that and I haven't stopped really. Um, that got me up to a level two standard, which is when they say you're a professional, you're able to go out and charge, um, set up your own frames, figure out, figure out problem solving. There's a lot of problem solving in walling. Um, but yeah, the bursary was really good, a bit of paid training and absolutely loved it. And you get introduced to other wallers around the country, different types of walls, different types of work. <laughs> the walling world is just, it's brilliant, it's full of oddballs, but it is very inclusive. People are really friendly, happy, and it's brilliant just being outside and getting on. Uh, haven't stopped working since the bursary. There's just so much work out there for people of a certain skill level. This job came through the fact I taught a walling course. Guys from the course were going to do this wall but they haven't got the time or inclination so they called me back after a year having done one gap and said could I finish the job because <laughs> they realised quite how big a job it is um, and obviously being professional you do it that bit quicker that bit nicer. The wall's pretty simple it's got the two skins the two faces um, and by filling up the middle tightly um, putting the stones length in like these guys and yeah packing it really well the weight of the wall the friction of the stones themselves holds it all together really um, you want to cross joins like Lego bricks as often as you can when I am gone. people have been building them dry stone walls for thousands of years and we've got I believe it's 120,000 miles of them in the UK still there's a lot in need of repair and what they call derelict which is when they're just small stone humps on the ground they act as a boundary they act as a way of keeping stock in shelter for animals against the wind they're brilliant habitats for the mosses the lichens bugs and mice and frogs and toads bees hornets um, bats, so lots of food sources for bigger things. I think most wallers um, work solo, but yeah, no, I'm happy in my own company. Mostly you're thinking about the stone in front of you. Sometimes you're thinking about what to make for tea. Tend not to clock watch, which is nice, because there's just wall to be built. It's mental and physical, it. Um, because you are trying to find the shapes, make the decisions. That could go there, but then I've got a running joint there, so actually I'm going to put it there. I'll have to find another one for there. And those little choices all the time. Um, and finding the stone in the pile. You do get to the point of sort of stone blindness where your brain just says, yeah, it's a pile of stones. And you can't get any further than that, and that's when you go and throw a stick for the dog or have a coffee. Really enjoy the outdoors, all the different bird song and all the different weather, different times of day, wicked sunrises some mornings. It's a good life, I think it's good for you and lots of fresh air and sunshine when, when it is sun shining. Working with other people is brilliant if you get on, if you can work and talk. Uh, lots of laughter, we are a funny breed. It does take a certain person to be outside all day playing with stones and hammers. We're all friendly, we're all happy. Um, 
and I think it's a satisfying job because you're creating something that's that's still going to be there in a few months or a few weeks or a few years. Don't walk backwards along a wall because you invariably trip up. Uh, don't hit stone in your hand, we all do that. <laughs> don't hit stone on the wall, we all do that. I'm happy with that as a day's work. Another wall, another gap that isn't anymore. I lift up the stone and I put it in place that was meant to go there. All shapes and sizes flash before my eyes. And here is the wall, the wall that I built, steadily growing a structure that will stand the test of time. I would definitely recommend dry stone walling as a career. It's mental, physical, creative, very satisfying. My home. Uh, it can be cold, wet, miserable, and difficult. <laughs>